balsamic branches. It's a place I've learned to love and like here. Um, treated good and everything, but tonight I'm sitting on a feeder and uh, they don't have anything really set up for traditional archers. But here's what they will do if you are a traditional archer. They will pour corn right out in front of you. And so that's what they did. They said there's no acorns this year. And so they're hitting the corn like crazy. So hopefully we'll have some actions and we'll see one that we want to shoot. And um, we'll just see. But yeah, if you're watching this, uh, be sure to subscribe to YouTube, Old Men's Duke Bow Adventures. Instagram and Facebook and follow along on the adventures that we go on. So, wish us luck. Well, the evening started off pretty exciting. Got to see some Osceola Toms. Um, they was wanting to come to the feeder and they eventually did. But as the evening wore on, sure enough, we started to see those piggies. You notice when pigs come in they're like a little bit wary they check out their surroundings just like deer would when they come into uh, to your tree stand uh, very skittish a lot of people I talk to say pig hunting it's like shooting fish out of a barrel I say this try it with traditional equipment It wasn't long after that first group left, but this group of pigs come in and I seen a kind of a dark red colored sow that kind of caught my attention. And um, as they moved closer, I started preparing for the shot.
shot that big red one. so far. Up on the tree. I'm gonna go catch up with Mike here. Let's see what I can find. I'm blood here. Do you? Right there. Taking it across the road. Right? Oh yeah, she, she went across the road. I suspected that. She's not moving at all. That's you. Huh? That's you. Oh, man. See where that shot is? Yeah. It's not good, but I hit that stupid bar. Oh, I know. Good job, man. <laughs> Not so uh, done. Be curved. Yeah. Oh, man. Take a picture of that. That was not where I was planning. It was supposed to go right in there. Right. But there we go. Really cool. Nice, big old fat sow. Good deal. Shine your light off that knot real quick. I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of that. That's, that's really cool right there. Okay, guys. No, December the 28th, and I am at Ross Hammock Ranch, and this is my second year here, and I shot this big old sow just a little bit ago. And my, my friend Mike here, one of the guides, is helping me blood trail it. We've got a lighted knock, but I shot it with Stello, my, my uh, longbow, and whoa! It was exciting. I had to wait for a long time to turn, but good grief. Hunting out of a ladder stand, I hunt out of a saddle all the time, so hunting out of a ladder stand with the guardrail around it, just absolutely wrecked havoc. It hit my bottom tip, but luckily I hit the, the pig on the uh, back just a little bit and high, and it hit that artery, and she just came up through here and bled, and it was over with. I, I heard a crash, but amazing stuff. We're gonna drag this joker out and we're gonna have them cut them up and we got bacon for to take home to Indiana here in a couple days. Good stuff. Ross Hammock Ranch. If you're down in the area this is a great place. Been here my second time and I'm definitely coming back but I'm probably gonna bring my kids. 
loving it like crazy. Let's go. So sometimes when pigs come in, oh, there was a mama come in with those three piglets a little bit later. I didn't get her on video. They're still behind me. But sometimes they get real nervous. And sometimes you just gotta let them wait. You gotta wait and let them settle down before you decide to plan on taking a shot. Because if they're edgy, they won't settle down. I want to get them as calm and as relaxed as they can be. They'll eventually be there. No big tusker yet, but he's out there. Yeah, you can hear those piggies coming, and they come in like a flood. But there's one thing that I've learned this trip about pouring corn out in front of you, and that is instead of just doing it randomly, just as in last year's pig hunt, I had them spread the corn away from me in lines like an old feeding floor for you hog uh, growers. And that way it puts them broadside when they're feeding on the corn. That worked last year, and I was hoping that it was going to work for me this year.
You're right. That was him. He came from directly in front of me. He was a black boar with a little bit of white in him, so I called him Pepper Pig. I hope no one gets offended. But he messed with these other pigs, pushed them around. They didn't want to mess with him. And he continued, continued to push pigs off of the bait pile where he was wanting to eat. And that ended up being part of my dilemma. Absolutely. 